This second year, and this is the spark for. Oops. <laughs> this is the spark for. And if you're like me, you're wondering why Techno launched two sparks in a year. Now, guys, I don't have the answer to that question, but what I do know is that the Techno Spark 4 is slightly faster, is slightly bigger, it has a bigger battery, and it has a better camera setup. Techno has decided to use a gradient color tone on the Spark 4, which is different from what you get on the Spark 3. The build has also been slightly changed, so you now have a curvier phone rather than a square looking phone. Now moving on to the front, and aside from the display size, we can see that the teardrop notch has also been introduced. And in terms of spec difference, um, there have been slight improvement. The only thing that has not been upgraded is the RAM size. So we're still getting 2 gigs of RAM, the same thing that was spotted on the Techno Spark 3 Pro. I would have actually loved if the base version of this came with 3 gigs of RAM, but we're not getting that at least this year. Instead, there's a Pro version that comes with 3 gigs. Now guys, I decided to put the triple camera setup and of course the front camera to test and the best way to do that was to film a vlog. morning um i'm currently with a techno spark 4 and my battery level is at 87 percent this is 701 so let's just say seven o'clock and i'm heading to the island currently in Ushodi. but yeah so this is the techno spark 4's camera and immediately i can tell that um my highlights are overblown so there's a little bit of exposure going on right here as you can see you can't see anything outside but there's actually something outside. Anyways, I'll be taking you along. Like I said, this is a mini vlog just to see how well um, the Techno Spark 4 um, performs. Let me switch to the back camera. Okay, so before I switch to the back camera, I just wanted to test out um, um, the Spark 3. I wanted, to, I wanted to compare with the Spark 3 to see how it fares. Um, straight off the bat, the highlight thing is going on. But I like. I like the look on the um, Spark 4. On the left is the Spark 4, on the right is the Spark 3. I like the look of the Spark 4. It looks um, sharper than the Spark 3. The Spark 3 is a lot smoothing out, so I don't know. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comment box. Wow, the synergy between Kwan and telecommunications. First, we'd like to apologize. And I'm going to start on my left with Mr. Tewe. Who's a good friend of mine um, and works at KP. Two hours later. So, guys, a little update. There's a lot of traffic right now. I'll show you guys in a bit. But yeah, so um, at the moment, this is 234. Battery is um, 62%. This is coming from 7 from 84% um, this morning. Um, seven o'clock, right? And right now I have sixty-two percent, and I do. I, I've been using my cameras at the event. Sorry. So I've been using my cameras at the event, and yeah. So that's the only thing I majorly did. And as you can see, I am super tired. But what am I going to do now? The traffic. Let me show you right now. So here is the traffic. It's moving now, but it was really bad, and that's what I'm currently facing. And already on the mainland, though, but yeah, it's taking me forever to get to my destination. Performance wise, and like I said, this comes with two gigs of RAM. But one thing I noticed is that it is slightly faster than the Spark 3. And during my time with the device, I was able to play PUBG, although I noticed a couple of frame drops. Um, which is quite expected for a device with this type of specs but one thing that i felt that is missing on the techno spark is the lack of gyroscope sensors how does it affect gaming well for pubg i wasn't able to tilt although i was still able to tilt while playing need for speed and others so i'll look into it my pro review but moving away from that i like the fact that the device doesn't get hot especially when using it extensively and talking about using extensively i tried to do like a battery drain and a battery charge test and it took me about 4 hours, 6 minutes to charge the Spark 4 from 0 to 100 and I'll place the time um, gaps 
right now so you can see how long it charges for every 30 minutes so obviously this does this support fast charge but where it does shine is with the 4000 mAh battery and as you can see during my vlog it did last me throughout the day right but of moderate use lastly the audio capabilities and i paired it with the Hot 8 and the spark affiliate <laughs> For my first impression of the spa for let me know what you think especially the vlogging capabilities let me know in the comment box and for those that have been waiting for my giveaway i'm really really sorry guys there's a slight setback but i'm looking to fix that as soon as possible so the giveaway is still on so please be on the lookout for that and with that said do have a lovely day and take care